Hello, appreciate you taking the time, time to look at this video. Uh, today this is for uh, FX Impact Enthusiast. Um, I uh, made a um, little up, a little sling that hooks on your uh, FX Impact and uh, I put one of these Uncle Mike uh, swivel studs up inside the uh, rubber um, butt plate that comes with it. Well, it didn't work. It, uh, after about two months, it split. The piece of rubber. So what I did was I took wood, some red oak, and uh, uh, just fashioned this and uh, milled it and made it out of wood, the butt plate. Uh, and then I run the screw up in there inside the, the and glued it into the end of the red oak now that problem's not going to be a problem. But uh, as you know, if you have this, there's just no real good way to carry your uh, FX impact. So what I'm offering uh, for uh, $29.95 uh, plus uh, $5 shipping is uh, these. Uh, this is uh, kiln-dried red oak, so it's hard. And uh, I milled all these out, and all the edges are routed. This particular one here is uh, stained in a dark walnut. This one is for the it's kind of a combat look or whatever you want to call it, a tactical look. It's got the coyote brown or, or khaki, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I can have them either with or without that uh, little swivel, stud swivel right there for the same price, $29.95 plus $5 shipping. have is the basic black one if you like that black look same with it and drill the hole and glue and screw in the swivel stud it's nothing more than black but it's that same red oak also I've left the kerf marks in the part that goes up against your shoulder to give just a little bit of friction there the top's nice and slick and the bottom's nice and slick I left the kerf marks from the bandsaw in there so it's a little bit grabby but all the edges are routed same with the uh, finger grooves, kerf marks are in there, make it just a little bit grabby. Also, we'll uh, offer it the same price, uh, just a, 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 a unfinished version of it, so you can paint it or stain it any way, any color that you want. Same thing. I can leave the hole empty, or I can put the uh, swivel stud in it. I could drill the hole and leave it separate, however you want to do that. So you can do what you want to do and then screw it in there. I'll bring the camera up a little bit closer so you can see them better. Here's what they look like on your the butt plate. What I'm going to do right now is uh, show you how to uh, change that out, see what they look like on your FX Impact. Okay, very easy to do. You just take your, to take your uh, butt plate off, you probably already figured this out, I'm sure. It's really, really easy to do. Just unscrew this screw. Thing just pops right off. I'll show it with the. This really looks good on here. I really like this this wood tone color. I'll give you a, an idea of what it looks like on it. They fit on the very snug. It's properly done. Okay, okay I'm gonna. You put that screw back in there. It's it's really snug. Everything is fits just really snug. There's nothing loose. I think it's not floppy or anything, but that's what it looks like with the uh, the wood tone. It's kind of pretty. I like that. Get a good look to it. I've got that scorched dark earth 
hand uh, grip there. Okay, now, same thing with this. You just take this thing loose. Pull the screw out. Comes right off. Nothing to it. Now, put this color on. See what that looks like. Screws in there like that. It's not loose. Nothing's loose on these. That's what it looks like on this. It kind of goes with the with a hand grip. I'll put the black one on there in just a second. This pops right up in there. Like I said, this is really tight on there. I made jigs for all this stuff so it goes the same way. So it's not loose and floppy. The, the, the rubber one pulls out. Okay, there's the black one. What this will enable you to do is put a uh, swivel stud down here. That I can either put on there for you, or if you don't want that, if you're carrying some other way up here, a, a one-point sling or something like that, then you don't have to have it on there. But I can put that on there for you. Like I said, this is uh, twenty-nine ninety-five plus five dollars of shipping, and uh, you'll see my uh, email address right there and my phone number. Uh, just give me a call if you're interested in this, or if you want more information. Appreciate you taking the time to look at this, and um, let me know if I can help you out.